Okay, folks, look, no long talking, none of that. Listen, we doing your grandma's banana pudding, right? Hey, super easy. And you know, to be more specific, we finna do my grandmama's. Now, let's just look at these ingredients. You see, not a whole lot. Obviously, we gotta have bananas. You know what I mean? These wafers right here, these are my, my tool of choice. You guys can use really any type of cookie, but if you wanna use something that's more authentic, you can use that, right? Now, you see these ingredients, there's not a whole lot. Don't forget, the full ingredient list is now printable and screenshotable on my website. That's smoking and grilling with ab.com. W-I-T-A-B.com. Let's get started. Okay, so listen, when you got the recipe in front of you, you know what I mean, and how we need it, right? When you read the instructions, I take the time to get it, you know, put it out there for you. Listen, we're gonna take the dry ingredients. We got salt, flour, and sugar, right? You're gonna get yourself a whisk. We're gonna add all of that into our saucepan, all right? And a little salt, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my whisk and just whisk this together. I ain't even put no heat underneath the bottom or nothing. I'm just getting this going. All right, so listen, if you guys haven't already guessed, instead of making, you know, pudding out of a box, we making our own, right? So I still don't have any heat underneath my pan or my pot. Now I'm going to just start adding in my milk. And check me out, right? Notice I keep that, my whisk can just going. I got it, it's a little noisy, but don't worry. Now I'm getting ready to put a little fire under here. You're probably gonna go with, let's go with a medium high heat. You know what I mean? And then we are gonna just stir this until it thickens. Okay, so look, I want you guys to take a look at it right here. Look, I've been stirring this constantly. I'm on a medium high heat, right? It's starting to thicken up. I like to see these little bubbles in here. You know, once it becomes like this, maybe a little bit more, once it starts to roll, then I'm gonna reduce it down, right? But look, you can see just the way it comes up over the top. Look at that right there. You can see it's starting to thicken up. Now, we didn't put that sugar in there. And just in case you guys didn't know, we making our own pudding. I got it. But this right here is gonna show you how to do it. You'll never go back to that box again. Now, while we letting that go ahead and simmer, go ahead and crack your eggs in a bowl, right? When you get good, you'll be able to use this one hand like I'm doing. You know, I'm just showing out. But I've been eating eggs, man, since I, I hey, if I told you how long I've been cooking eggs, I'll probably call child services on my mama. So look. Look at how it's thickening it up. Starting to rise a little bit. We stir, we not letting nothing curd it up or nothing like that. I'm gonna reduce my heat. Now we coming down to a like a little simmer, right? We leave it like that. Now we working, folks. That's what we want to get. Right, so now we're just getting ready to let that cool just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk my, my eggs, right? You wanna whisk them good. All right, so, I like the thickness that I have right here. Now what I'm getting ready to do is pour a little bit in there. We're gonna whisk this, whisk that, and then after we whisk that together, then we're gonna pour all of that in the inside, right? So go like this, right? All right, so once you got your desired thickness, this is cool right here. Actually, as it cools and it sets up in your refrigerator, it's gonna get even thicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour just a little bit of this in here like that. Just a little bit like, like that, right? Now, then I go ahead and whisk this inside, you know, of our eggs, right? Look at that. Kinda like you're making a custard. You know what I mean? But hey, you know what? Ain't no kinda like. That's what that looks like, doesn't it? You know what I mean? So, we take this. Now we add this here. All right, now this is where you wanna have the right tool for the job, folks. You wanna make sure you get yourself a spasta. You know what, because we didn't leave, we didn't make this or leave a lot of this residue on the side of the, you know, our bowl, right? We wanna get it all in there. That's our goodness. And then we bring this in. Look at the color, folks. It screams pudding already. You know what I mean? But just the flavor on this is nice. Only thing we gotta do now is add our vanilla extract, right? So, oh yeah, I'm loving that. Yes, sir. Now I'm gonna take my extract, right? And work that in. This is when you guys should be grabbing one of them testing spoons, you know what I mean? And then you taste it, and then whatever you need to add to it, if you think you need to add to it, you do it right now. Okay, so as you see, we letting this cool, you know what I mean? That's cool right there. It might look a little runny to you, 
but don't trip it'll thicken up on you know on its own as it sits right so now we're getting ready to just go ahead and peel our bananas and then you just want to cut these down into the slices that you want to put on top right all right so the next thing we do is we just layer right and this is how we layer these i just put these in here like this you know along the bottom you know what I mean? Because this is going to be our base. Right? It's real simple. You guys probably seen these on videos before. You know what I mean? This is like the cool thing. This is also an excellent project to work on with your, uh, you know, with your loved ones. You know what I mean? Even friends or whatever you got that you want to cook. Whoever you want to cook with. Man, try these. You know? Just put them down. Layer them. You know what I mean? We're going to put a little... You'll see. All right, so once I have them like that, look, I try to find some that'll fit, because usually some of your wafers will be cracked or broken or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, just to like fill up the bottom and getting close to the edge, so I'll just stick that there. Now you want to go ahead and bring in, you know, your banana slices, you know? Now this is banana pudding, so you're going to want to put them everywhere. You know what I mean? Then you know what, do a better job than what I did because all of these aren't uniform, but that's okay. This dessert right here, like get it. And again, don't let this simplicity of what I'm doing, you know, get you to thinking like, oh no, I gotta find another one. After you make this, I want you guys to come back and read some of these comments from these other people and you tell me that I get y'all in the right game. All right, so after you pour that on the top, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build another layer. All we're doing is repeating, right? And to be honest with you, you're probably gonna use every bit of your wafers because we're gonna have to make a crumble top, a crumble top on it, topping anyway. You know what I mean? So, but look at this right here. This should take you back to your childhood. I don't know about y'all, but I used to have pudding all the time. Ate so much of it, man, I didn't want to eat no more pudding. Probably, I probably went at least 10 years without even touching pudding, not even looking at it. All right, so once you have that on there, then we come with the rest. You know what I mean? We just go ahead and pour it just like this. Okay, so look, we got complete coverage. I'm loving that right there. Now, this will give you a little trick. We're gonna take our wafers, right? Put these in here like this. Let me get just a few more. This is what I mean when I told you guys we're probably gonna use the whole entire bag, box, right? I'm gonna put them in there like that. And now we're gonna beat these up. All right, so look, when I put them in a Ziploc bag, I get myself something hard, like, you know, like the bottom of a glass, you know, cup, right? Now we don't wanna turn them into sawdust. You know what I mean? We just do them like this. Just hit them a couple times, and this will give it that nice little appearance, right? Look at that right there. It's up to you. If you want to make it like sawdust, you can, but I still like to see a little bit of the wafer though, you know? That's enough for myself. Now, I'm gonna take it, take some of this and just sprinkle these over the top, just the way they are. Now, when it comes to the rest of my banana, I like to get these really to be uniform. You know what I mean? So we just cut these about the same slice because we're going to get a little bit of coverage, right? So, now you know why we had so many bananas. So now I'll just take them and just add a few. You don't have to pack them on there like you did when you were layering them. You know what I mean? This right here is really for like, still is for the taste, but a lot of this has to do with the appearance, you know, and how it look. All right, so the last thing we want to do is we just want to go ahead and give this a cover, you know, with some saran wrap, right? I never get my saran wrap right. I actually could have done this one one time, with first time with just one. All right, so anyway, we got this wrap. And listen, I'm going in the refrigerator. I'm gonna go in there for about six hours. You know what I mean? Uh, you want everything to like set, be firm, so when your guests or your family cut it, it don't be soupy, you know what I mean? So that's where we want to start with, right? Like here. All right, put this over the top. Let's go ahead and get a good seal on the bottom. Remember, in the refrigerator, six hours. Then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We are gonna cut it, put it on a plate, take some pictures, and we finna eat this, folks.
Okay, folks, now check this out. Listen, you can see my little wardrobe kind of like changed, right? So listen, I told y'all six hours, I ended up getting on the phone, doing, you know, talking and playing something. So it's the, actually the next day, right? So I'm just now taking this out the refrigerator. And you know what? Longer is better. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll just leave it like that. You know what I mean? If you can go ahead and do it overnight, that'd be for the best, you know what I mean? Okay, folks, so look, you can see how it is right here. Look, came out great. I always like to have my pudding, you know, in something like this, right? So I kind of like just put it in this way. You know what I mean? I like to save a couple of, I'll show you in just one second. That would be the best way. Cause I like to make these, you know, put some toppings on this as I serve it to my guests, right? Now, if you guys want it to be like firm, you can stick it in the freezer for like the last hour to get it to firm up. But I usually don't do that. I like it like this. You see that right there? Look, I gotta hurry up for that milk. So only thing that does to do is take a few pictures, use that spoon right there to dig in and taste it. This is the banana pudding that everybody wish they had every day. All right, folks, look, I gotta hurry up before my, my, my uh, whipped cream goes ahead and you know starts to melt. But I want, you know what? I'll use any excuse to just go ahead and hit this banana pudding. Hey, my mouth is already watering. Trust me, folks, this the one, cheers. Now check this out. Listen, sometimes the simplicity of something doesn't always equal it's gonna be bland or it's not enough, it's not over the top. Sometimes I think, you know, when we making things, we put way too much in it, That's it, which is really like unnecessary and then we forget about the original flavors that we were trying to combine, right? This right here is the one, right? This is the one you can give to your grandma and I'm telling you, she'd be proud. You know what I mean? Grandmama, mama, daddy, G-pop. That's what I go by, G-pop. You know what I'm saying? So listen, with that being said, Think about this, and if you make it, come back, talk to me. Talk to me down in that comment section below. Tell me what else do you add, you know what I mean? I got some of y'all gonna say you take a cap, about a teaspoon of uh, lemon juice, drop that in there just to give it that little refreshing taste. You need just a little bit, enough so it, when it hit everybody's palate, they like, damn, something's in there. Now, I'm interested in reading that, let me know. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I know this is dropping on Sunday, so this is personal to all of my, I call you guys my day one. You know what I mean? It's in these uh, premieres every Sunday. Hey, thank y'all. And guess what? I'm out. Peace.